This video will walk you through the steps of importing an epic skeleton mesh onto our current skeleton and animation set, and then adding them to the skin system to be used in-game. Here I have the prototype characters pack from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. It's been added to my project and uses the epic default skeleton. You'll notice, however, that there are no animations available for this mesh, since it needs to be assigned to our current skeleton. The easiest way to accomplish this with matching skeletons is to right-click our new mesh, navigate to Skeleton, and click Assign Skeleton. Locate our default project skeleton and then select it to be assigned. This mesh will now use the default skeleton and shares the project's default animations that were built on the Unreal Engine skeleton. If you have any issues with this, you can always export your mesh and then re-import it onto the default Unreal skeleton. One thing to note is that by default, a team color vector exists in the material for the default mannequin used in-game. If you want to take advantage of the team color overrides for your custom mesh, you can implement that in your character's new material however you want. Now let's assign the new mesh to the skin table so that it can be used with our class system. Head over to the skin table under blueprints and add a row. Fill out the variables with the values from your new mesh. Remember that you'll also want to create a first person version of your skin as well and assign it in the skin table so that your first person view matches the skin applied to your third person mesh. Typically this includes the shoulder to the hand like the default FPS arms. You can now assign your skin to a class in the game mode creator. For help using the game mode creator, make sure you check out our video on game mode creation. If you have any questions, make sure to post in our Discord.